In this video, we're going to demonstrate a Samson SX1200. This is the front panel. It has two exhaust areas and come with the exhaust mesh material to catch all the dust. You can actually pull these out and clean them up. So when you first turn on the amplifier, you'll see it'll go to protect. And if everything's okay, the protect light will go off. There's relays inside the power amp. So it does a quick check, everything's okay, takes it out of protect. One thing I want to forewarn you about with amplifiers, as you note here, it says 1200 watts. But if you look in the uh, operation manual, the highest it goes for the SX1200 is 900 watts in the bridge mode. So I'm not sure why there's 1200 watts stamped on the front. But anyway, so we're going to play some signal. I'm going to turn on my. Uh, CD player going through a mixer. I'm going to play some uh, some music here. So you turn up. So we have music playing. Turn that back down. I'm going to explain volume. They call these volume controls. They're actually input attenuators. They control the input. Next we'll talk about signal. I'm going to turn the amplifier back on. I have disconnected both speakers because I do not want to destroy my speakers during this test. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit and you should get normal signal. Normal signal you can, you can see. It's green. Nice nominal signal. But what happens if there's too much signal. So if you start getting too much signal, the green light will stay solid. So we have a solid green signal indicator. That means we're on the verge of peak. There's the, can't see it right now. When it's in peak, you don't want to leave it there too long. You start frying the amplifier, frying speakers. So basically, stay out of the red. Just like a traffic light, red means stop. So, to review, this is a good signal. This is a nominal signal. It's flashing. If it becomes solid green, that means you're on the verge of peaking. And then I'll show you peak real quick again. And that's peak, which you don't want to stay in too long. That's when your equipment starts to get damaged. The amplifier could get damaged or the speaker could get damaged. Most modern amplifiers come with overprotection circuitry inside the amp. So when it, when it stays in peak too long, it'll go into protect. Now let's look at the rear panel. Taking a look at the back 
of this amplifier. We notice that there's the fans, one on each side. We have your balance input section here. These are dual or let's say combo XLR TRS inputs. You can use either or. This is the speaker output connections. These are banana plugs. And these are your Nutric 2-pole speak on connector outputs. Of course there's power and you have a 10 amp circuit breaker. We'll first demonstrate these dual input connectors. As I said, you can use an XLR male or TRS quarter inch. You can use either or. Next, let's look at the speaker output connections. We'll start with the banana connection which you could plug in just like that. Then you have your speak on connector which you can just plug in like that. There's a third speaker output connection you can make right here. You open these up, take your bare wires, slide them in. You have to have these open all the way. And then slide them in there. Slide them in. And then just tighten them up. There's your third speaker connection. Right now we'll talk about probably the most important feature on all amplifiers and it's the mode. You have bridge mode, stereo mode, and parallel mode. Let's start with stereo mode. The switch is in the middle which is stereo mode. So we'll plug in two inputs and right now in stereo mode the amplifier acts as a stereo amplifier, like two separate amplifiers, channel one and channel two. So you can use them as two separate amplifiers. So whatever input's coming into channel one is going out on speaker number one. Any input coming on channel two is coming out of speaker output number two. The stereo mode is the most used mode, I would say, for most PA setups. So now let's talk about the parallel mode. So what that means, if you switch to parallel, you only need to put an input in channel 1. It parallels the inputs. So whatever you have coming in one is automatically switched and going to number two. So the same input is going to a separate channel one output and a separate channel two output. So all parallel does is parallel these two inputs. So you only need one connector. We use parallel a lot when we have the same signal is going to go to both channels, input channels. So instead of using up a separate output going to this input, we just use the one input. And we parallel the input and now this signal goes to both inputs.
So now let's talk about the bridge mode. What bridge mode does when you flip this switch, it basically takes both outputs, makes this stereo amp one big mono amp. So basically, take one output, put it in channel one input, and now you got to be careful about the speaker connections. If you see here, it says bridge. So if you're using a banana connector, you would no longer use the negative poles. You would plug the banana connector right there. Let's get a better look at that. So you'd get a so you would plug it where it says plus and plus. And that's your output. In bridge mode is where you would get the most power. The front of this amplifier stated that it was a 1200 watt amp. If you look at the specifications, I'm sure you're going to find when you go to bridge mode on the Samson SX1200, you get about 900 watts of power. So be careful of the speaker wattage because you don't want to blow up speakers. So I'm going to remove the banana connector and show you how to hook up the Nutric connector in the bridge mode. In regular stereo mode, you would use a two pole connector. And you would go to this diagram and use one plus and one minus. But you see in bridge mode, they want you to put the two wires on one plus and two plus. In order to do that, you need a four pin, four pole connector. This is a Nutric four pole. It's a little bit bigger. It's got four poles. So on this connector, you would look at the diagram and you would use one plus and two plus. On, on this connector and then plug it in. Over here, SX1200 is the model number. At 8 ohms, you'll get 300 watts a channel. At 4 ohms, you'll get 450 watts a channel. So it makes sense that if you put it in bridge mode, you'll get double the 450 and get about 900 watts. 